Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at another horrible case with you. In 1988, Heather Hodges and Ignacio Goose met at a party while attending the University of Northern Colorado. Ignacio was a friendly guy with a great personality, and he immediately caught Heather's attention. It was love at first sight for both of them. Heather had a fun personality with a bit of innocence about her. She was beautiful, with pale skin, red lips, and dark hair. Ignacio found Heather enchanting and even referred to her as his Snow White. After Ignacio asked Heather out on their first date, she was excited. She immediately shared the news with her roommates and they celebrated her newfound happiness. Heather's friends were thrilled for her because she hadn't really dated before and they believed this date could be the start of something special. Heather and Oso's relationship quickly blossomed into something more serious. Ignacio was attentive, always surprising Heather with her favorite flowers or coffee. His thoughtfulness and consideration made Heather feel loved and appreciated. After graduating from the University of Northern Colorado, Ignacio decided to take their relationship to the next level. He proposed to Heather, and she happily accepted his proposal. However, there was one condition that Heather attached to their engagement. If Ignacio ever cheated on Heather, she would immediately end their marriage, regardless of any apologies or attempts to make amends. This stipulation was a deal-breaker for Heather, and she made it clear that she would not tolerate infidelity. Heather and Ignacio married within one year of their engagement, and it was a beautiful and joyous occasion. Ignacio became a law enforcement officer at the Gray Colorado Police Department, and Heather worked as a supervisor at the local credit union in town. She was known for her exceptional skills in providing comfort to the credit union members when there were issues. One co-worker even described Heather as wonderful all the way around. Ignacio, too, proved to be an outstanding father. From the outside, Heather and Oso's life appeared to be perfect. In 1997, Heather's father passed away from a heart attack. This tragic event was followed by an even more devastating blow just a few days later when Heather's mother was diagnosed with cancer. Determined to be a dedicated daughter, Heather dedicated herself to taking care of her ailing mother. Over the next several years, she selflessly provided care and support to her mother, who died in 2003. Ignacio proved to be a loving husband and father and helped out more with the couple's daughter, Victoria, and around the house. However, after months of supporting Heather through her grief, Ignacio started to turn his attention to a co-worker, Shauna Nelson, a dispatcher at the Gray Police Department. In 2004, she was married to a Wells County Sheriff's deputy named Ken. Ken later said things changed between him and Shauna after Shauna returned to work after the birth of their second child. Shauna and Oso's relationship started as friendly and turned into something more. They began exchanging flirtatious comments and engaging in a playful banter. Shauna's compliments caught Ignacio's attention and she captivated him. Over time, Ignacio's interest grew deeper and he spent a lot of time with Shauna. Their connection became more than just friendly and they began to form a deeper emotional bond. As they continued to see each other, the intensity of their feelings grew. Their emotion shifted from playful flirtation to something more passionate and intimate. They found themselves unable to resist the pull of their attraction. Ignacio and Shauna's relationship was the talk of the town, but Heather remained oblivious to the affair. Despite everyone being aware of the situation, no one felt comfortable disclosing the truth to Heather. As a result, Shauna and Ignacio's relationship intensified while Heather remained in the dark. Shauna found out that she was pregnant and excitedly shared the news with Ignacio. However, Ignacio didn't take the news well and started to question whether the baby was in fact his and not Shauna's husband, Ken's. Shauna assured Ignacio that her husband had a vasectomy after their second child, eliminating the possibility of Ken being the father of the child. Knowing that he would be facing serious consequences if Heather found out about Shauna's pregnancy, Ignacio became nervous. He didn't want this baby and desperately sought a solution. With Shauna's agreement, he convinced her to terminate the pregnancy and drove her to the procedure. As months and years passed, Heather remained oblivious to her husband's affair with Shauna. However, as time went on, Shauna became impatient and decided to confront Heather. Shauna would pretend they were Heather. Despite Shauna and Oso's years-long affair, Ken, Shauna's husband, had no idea what was going on until he read Shauna's journal, which detailed her relationship with Ignacio. Wanting to stay together for the sake of their children, Ken didn't leave Shauna when he found out about her cheating. Shauna was not the only person Ignacio was having an affair with, as Shauna herself was aware of Ignacio's relationship with another woman. This knowledge prompted Shauna to keep Ignacio on a short leash, as she was determined to maintain her position as the sole woman in his life. She threatened to tell Heather everything if he ever left her. Her obsession with Ignacio 
was growing stronger. In July 2005, Shauna took a step further to solidify her place in Oso's life when she got a tattoo on her leg with his family name. Shauna had developed an unhealthy obsession with Ignacio, and it began to escalate to the point where she started stalking him. If Heather and Ignacio decided to take their daughter Victoria to a restaurant, Shauna and her family would make sure to show up. Ignacio could tell that Shauna's behavior was becoming increasingly concerning, but he continued to engage in an affair with her. When Shauna found out she was pregnant with Oso's baby a second time, she told him there was no way she was ending the pregnancy. She wanted this baby. In March 2006, Shauna gave birth to her and Oso's son, Christian. Because Shauna was still married to Ken and Oso's wife had no idea he had a baby with his co-worker, Ken offered to raise Christian as his own if Shauna would stay married to him, and she agreed. During the summer of 2006, while Heather was out one day, a woman approached her with shocking news. Shauna Nelson had given birth to Oso's baby. This revelation left Heather in disbelief and confusion. Upon returning home, Heather confronted Ignacio about the child, demanding answers. Ignacio once again lied to his wife, attempting to conceal his affair with Shauna. Heather continued to believe in Ignacio. One night in December 2006, Heather woke up to find Ignacio missing. When Ignacio finally returned, Heather wasted no time in confronting him. Instead of lying like he had in the past, Ignacio made a choice to tell Heather the truth. Ignacio admitted to Heather that he had been out with Shona that night. He went on to disclose that the affair had been going on for years, unbeknownst to her. Additionally, Ignacio told her about Shona's two pregnancies and that she'd recently given birth to his son. After Ignacio confessed to his affair with Shona to Heather, Heather followed through on what she had said she would do if Ignacio cheated. She ended their relationship and kicked him out of the house. However, Heather's strong desire to keep her family intact had led to call Ignacio back the next day. Despite Heather's initial disbelief and anger, she didn't want to break up the family and feared that Victoria would be raised in a broken home. When Heather spoke to Ignacio, she let him know that she knew he was in love with her and that she loved him back. Heather expressed her desire to keep their marriage intact and she didn't intend to file for divorce. However, Heather made it clear that she wasn't ready to jump back into their marriage immediately. Instead, Heather presented Ignacio with several conditions to be fulfilled before considering taking him back. One of the conditions was that Ignacio needed to take an STD test. In addition to getting an STD test, Heather also recommended that Ignacio see a counsellor. She believed that counselling could help them navigate the challenges of rebuilding their marriage and addressing any underlying issues that may have led to the infidelity. Furthermore, Heather asked Ignacio to give up his parental rights to Shauna's baby. Lastly, Heather requested that Ignacio end his relationship with Shauna. Ignacio was eager to save his marriage and agreed to all the conditions Heather proposed. He knew that he'd wronged her and was willing to make amends. Ignacio called Shauna and informed her that he was ending their affair. While on the phone with Shauna, Heather, standing nearby, listened to the entire conversation. A text message arrived on Heather's cell phone. The message contained a picture of Shauna and Ignacio's son, and underneath it were the words, IGS, flesh and blood. Shauna's outrage was fueled by the fact that Ignacio had ended their relationship and decided to remain with Heather. She felt betrayed and abandoned, and her anger boiled over as a result. She began speaking openly about suing Ignacio for child support, seeking financial retribution for their son, Christian. By the start of 2007, Ignacio and Heather were in the midst of repairing their marriage after Ignacio's infidelities. Despite the challenges they faced, the couple was determined to rebuild their relationship and make things work. However, despite Ignacio's efforts to put an end to his affair with Shauna, she continued to harass Heather. The harassment became so bad that Ignacio and Heather had to take drastic measures to protect their family and property. They began parking Heather's car in the garage instead of out on the street, fearing that Shauna might damage their vehicle. Additionally, the couple sought legal assistance and had an attorney send Shauna a formal notice informing her to stay away from Ignacio, Heather, and their daughter, Victoria. The notice contained clear instructions to cease any harassment or intimidation. Despite the warnings and consequences, Shauna refused to relent. She continued to harass Heather through text messages, emails, and voicemails, taunting her with nasty and hurtful words. On January 23, 2007, just after 6 p.m., Heather was leaving work at the credit union. She was looking forward to going home and spending the night with her daughter. However, Heather's peaceful evening was suddenly disrupted as she exited the building with her co-workers. As they worked on their vehicles in a dark parking lot, the group was approached by a person dressed in black, wearing a Halloween mask and brandishing a gun. 
the gunman was specifically focused on Heather. While others in the group attempted to hide, pointing the weapon at Heather's head, the gunman told her to get down on her knees. Then, before pulling the trigger, the gunman said, You ruined my life. And then shot Heather two times, point-blank range, execution style, in the head. After shooting Heather, the gunman ran into a red pickup truck parked nearby and sped away. As Heather's shooting unfolded, her co-workers and other witnesses in the parking lot called 911. Minutes after Heather was shot, paramedics arrived on site, but their efforts to save her life were ultimately futile. The gunshot wounds to her head had caused fatal injuries, and Heather was pronounced dead at the scene. When police officers arrived at the parking lot to secure the crime scene, they discovered that the shooting victim was their co-worker, Oso's wife. Recognizing Heather as the victim, the officers contacted Ignacio and instructed him to go to the hospital immediately. Ignacio sped through the hospital's hallways to reach Heather's trauma room. However, as he approached, a doctor stopped him to deliver devastating news. The doctor informed him that it was too late, and Heather had passed away. The news hit Ignacio hard, and he realized he would have to break the devastating news to their nine-year-old daughter, Victoria. Telling Victoria that her mother was gone was the hardest thing Ignacio ever had to do. He recalled that they'd spent a long time sitting together, hugging and crying inconsolably. While Ignacio was digesting the news of Heather's death back at the crime scene, witnesses were sharing their accounts of the murder with the police. One witness reported seeing the shooter appear unexpectedly before quickly disappearing in a red pickup truck. Another witness suggested that the shooter might have been a woman based on the way they ran. During the investigation, a name that had come up concerning Heather's harassment was Shauna Nelson, someone who knew about Oso's affair. Mentioned, Shauna could have been responsible for Heather's shooting. The police officers at the crime scene were already familiar with Shauna and her husband Ken, as she was a dispatcher and a police officer. They knew Ken owned a car similar to the one the shooter was driving. With the evidence mounting against Shauna, the police issued an APB on their radios for both her and the red pickup truck she was believed to be driving. Ken Nelson, Shauna's husband, was working his shift that night and patrolling in his police car when he heard an alert from his wife and truck over the radio. He immediately began searching for his wife. Within 20 minutes, Ken located his wife driving his vehicle near the home. After the jury was released to deliberate, it only took them five hours to return a verdict. They found Shauna Nelson guilty of first-degree murder. The judge addressed Shauna and told her she deserved every day of the sentence she received. Michelle Moore, Shauna's former best friend, was sentenced to nine years in prison for her involvement in the planning of Heather's murder. After testifying against Shauna, Ken Nelson resigned from the police department and filed for divorce. Following Shauna's guilty verdict, Ken moved out of state with his children, including Shauna's son, Christian, whom she had with Ignacio. Ken moved back to Colorado, expressing hope that one day the children would be able to visit Shauna in prison. Regardless of the circumstances, Ken believed that no matter what, Shauna had always been a loving and great mother. The charges against Ken were eventually dropped. Heather's loved ones are relieved that Shauna is behind bars. They believe that justice has been served, and they hope Shauna continues to reflect on the pain she caused Heather every day for the rest of her life. Shauna's selfish actions took Heather away from her family and deprived her daughter Victoria of her mother. Unfortunately, in 2015, when Victoria was 17 years old, she lost her life in a car accident. Tragically, she lost control of her vehicle and struck a tree, ending her life. Subscribe for more chilling cases.